Hello, everyone. I'm Artem, and I'm a biochemist, and I study our brains. But what do we know of the brain? It's one of the least understood organs in our body. It consists of tiny but complex cells called neurons. And these neurons have a big problem. They are just too long. Like neurons connecting the stem of your brain with your toes can reach one and a half meters in length. And to function properly, to send all the signals, they have to transport lots of energy and millions of molecules over these long distances. But how do they do that? They don't have DHL or FedEx. How do they transport molecules? And this is actually the focus of my PhD studies. I'm trying to understand how neurons transport molecules over these long distances. Um, but before, I would like to remind you of one Japanese brand you know all very much, Toyota. Um, the funny question is, how could Kitsuro Toyoda in 1930s create such a brand from scratch, from nothing? It is a funny story. What he did, he took the best cars available on the market, and then he just destroyed them. He ruined them to pieces, and he copied every detail one by one, and he studied the function of each of them. How does it work? What does it do? What is the function? Then he took the best parts from three different models, combined into first prototype Toyota A1. Here, I want you to understand the basic principle, how to make something new. First of all, you have to take something existing, the best available, disassemble, study every piece, and make a copy. When the copy is functional, then you can be sure that you understand everything. And then you can improve, like this last model Toyota concept, iCar. So now we can go back to biochemistry. Over the last 150 years of research, we have studied the brain as organ, as tissues, the cells. We know the functions of millions of molecules by now. So it's time to build a copy. And this is what I'm doing in my PhD studies. Funny is that the world of neurons is very similar to our world. It also has highways and roads, which neurons are represented by molecules called microtubules. Neurons also have the cars, which are the motor proteins that literally run on these microtubules and carry the cargo, which in this case are tiny molecules that I'm studying. And I'm using microscopy to see these molecules. And on the next slide, I wanna show you real scientific data from the microscope. So what you can see here are these long lines are the microtubules, the highways of the neurons. The green dots running are these motor proteins, the cars that transport the cargo, which is in red. Um, it's funny is what you see there are the real molecules that are moving. Isn't it incredible? So why is it important? Why do we care? Thing is that if some of these transporting molecules are not transported properly, then we end up having some metal retardation disorders. And in order to improve the condition of these patients, to find the medication, we have to, first of all, understand the transport. How does it work? And for this, we need to build a copy. This is quite new approach in biochemistry, trying to reconstitute uh, mechanisms. And it turns the page of biochemical history from chemistry of destroying into chemistry of creating. Arigato gozaimashite. <laughs>